Oh boy, it's Capicola with saying the amazing Quantum Leap series from the 80s, 90s, where he's basically thrown into a variety of situational duresses, paradoxical confoundments where he'd need to analyze the situation and survey it and use the help of, of course, the guide Ziggy to figure out what he had to do, what agenda, what it entailed to get from one body to the next, but he cannot get back to his own body. It was just a very, very cool show. Absolutely loved it at the time. I also love shows like Sliders with Jerry O'Connell where they did alternate genre bending uh, leaps into various uh, alternate realities like where the Third Reich is still in uh, power in the United States etc. It just got really crazy and then there's episodes where like men are able to get pregnant. It's just each episode is this whole self-contained scenario along with the subplots that went on and it had great actors like John Rhys Davies and of course of uh, uh, Jerry O'Connell, but by the end of the series, it got a little bit stale because the great actors left and there was pretty much nobody left. But uh, we're going to go into, of course, uh, more karaoke awesomeness today. And uh, who would have thought that Hugh Jackman, a.k.a. Wolverine, actually was able to sing in musicals before he got into uh, Down in the Claws for movies such as X-Men. I mean, uh, yes, he did a great job. And, uh, of course, Les Miserables as well. And, of course, uh, The Greatest Showman. And uh, Les Miserables kind of tricked me because I thought it would be a movie that had some dialogue in it. But, no, it was singing from beginning to end. And uh, it fooled me. And uh, my wife was laughing at me for many, many, many uh, years after. But, in any case, Greatest Showman actually has some real true dialogue and plot. And I was able to at least make up for it that even when I saw Nightmare Before Christmas many years ago, uh, there was quite a bit of singing, but at least there was enough dialogue for me to be able to tolerate it. Uh, but uh, I started watching Lynn manuel Miranda's uh, interpretation of Hamilton on, uh, of course, Disney Plus with my wife last night, and it's actually pretty interesting for what it's worth, and I found it pretty thoroughly impressive. In my first experiment, uh, my first experience with him was actually on, of course, Jimmy Fallon, where he's doing freestyle and rapping, of course, of which there's some great freestyle and rapping in uh, that uh, musical as well. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something else you're searching for? I'm falling In all the good times I find myself longing for change And in the bad times I fear myself And uh, props to you Bradley Cooper for pulling this role off I mean you absolutely nailed it I saw you in of course the great Clyde Barker story 2 movie called Midnight Me Train, which was a limited release. Theatrical uh, reception here, but it went to Blu-ray and DVD soon after. It had Vinnie Jones in it as well, but it was from the Voice of Blood by Clyde Barker. Great uh, metaphorical allegory story about a depiction of, basically, essentially, uh, curiosity killed the cat. But great, great turn, and I saw you go into comedies after that, such as the Hangover Trilogy, and then finally doing a nail on uh, drop dead performance as far as like playing your role in Star Wars Born, of which uh, Christa, Christopherson and of course uh, Barbara Streisand did the original roles respectively for of course uh, Bradley Cooper and of course Lady Gaga. And I need to go back and out of curiosity sake watch what happened and what it entailed in the original. But we're going to move on to another song here called Brandon Flowers Crossfire. Tremendous fan of his music. Great turn in the band killers as well as of course uh, Brandon Flowers solo. He's a great showman. He didn't really, uh, he's a little bit insecure about being a showman, but yes, he, uh, uh, progressed into an amazing showman over the decade plus that I've known him as an artist. And my wife actually got to see him in person before he was actually a licensed musician with the Killers. And that was pretty impressive at the time and, uh, awesome, awesome stuff there. There's a still in the street outside your window. Keeping secrets on your pillow Let me inside, no cause for alarm I promise tonight not to do no harm I promise you, baby, I won't do you no harm And we're caught up in the crossfire of heaven and hell And we're searching for shelter 
Lay your body down, lay your body down, lay your body down. Yes, he's an amazing singer, just like Jared Leto with 30 Seconds to Mars. These are two of the incomparable singers that I love from these alternative uh, genre of music. Uh, we're going to go to some more here and see if we can uh, embarrass ourselves a little bit more here. I'm going to do something uh, based off of what I did in the drum song last. We're going to do uh, Firehouse Don't Treat Me Bad, which is an absolute genius masterpiece uh, lyrical composition here. And uh, playing drums on it, I uh, took a little nap while I was playing drums, but singing is a whole different new ball game here. It's a very, very, very difficult song to sing, and I've never tried this before but I'm gonna try it right now and let's see if I can pull it off well I've never thought you hurt me I guess you live and learn that when you're playing with fire you're bound to get burned well I've been mistreated I've been used before I get kicked in the face till I come back for more but I won't cry no more, cause the uh, tears are all in vain. We can pick up all pieces and start it all again. Let's just get back to the old way it was before. Oh, girl, I can't take any more. Baby, don't treat me bad. Well, this could be the best thing that you'll ever have. Baby, don't treat me bad We can do anything But baby Don't treat me bad Whoa Don't treat me bad Oh I gave everything But you threw it all away I can't take any more Of these games that you play I mean, these uh, musicians are so amazing. That is an awesome, awesome song. Just like Love of a Lifetime. I'm going to need more practice to get better at these, but I'm going to try one more, which I'm going to embarrass the hell out of myself on because it's another song that has multi-octaves, just like, uh, I believe, in a thing called Love by the Darkness and the Into the Unknown song by Frozen True uh, soundtrack uh, that I did yesterday. And, of course, uh, last but not least, Take On Me by AHA. This is a tough song as well, and this is one of my favorite songs of all time. And there's uh, many, many great backstories to this. I mean, David Coverdale went on to be in Van Helen for a short duration. He did a great job. David Coverdale for the win, and an uh, awesome, awesome musician. He was in White Snake as well as in Van Halen for a short time, and uh, he was with Tony Katayan, who came after him with a baseball bat, unfortunately, but uh, Tony Katayan was also in the movie Bachelor Party with Tom Hanks, one of his earlier comedic efforts. I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. Hanging out the promises in the songs of yesterday And I made up my mind I ain't wasting no more time Here I go again Here I go again I'm about to get lost guys and guys This is gonna be much much more difficult here Though I keep searching for an answer I never seem to find what I'm looking for Oh Lord, I pray you give me strength to carry on Cause I know what it means I'm not even gonna attempt the next part because David Coverdale is gonna absolutely destroy me on that part <laughs> 